Hey guys, welcome back to Woody's Workshop. Today I'm gonna to be installing a diesel particulate filter or a DPF delete pipe on this 2017 F350. So let's get right to it. So here's the factory diesel particulate filter in the truck. It ends just before the cab stops and runs all the way under the truck, all the way to here, just about halfway on the transmission pan. And we're gonna replace it all the way from here, all the way back to right at the end of the cab. Okay, so we're gonna start right here at the front of the truck. There's two 13 millimeter bolts, one on each side of the flange. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and spray some uh, penetrating oil, whether it's WD-40 or PB Blaster on these bolts, cause they can get pretty rusty and that makes it just a little bit more difficult to take apart. Okay, so now that we have this flange loose, we can move further back towards the back of the truck. And right through here, there is a connector right there. So you have to unclip and unplug. Okay, so next you have three electrical connectors you have to disconnect. You have this one here with the red locking tab on your exhaust fluid metering valve. You just pop the tab up and lever it down. The connector pops right off. You have this connector here on the side of your frame rail. Just lever it down, pop it off. And then you have this connector here on the outside frame rail of your passenger side that you just have to disconnect. And also there is a clip on top of the frame rail for this particulate sensor. Uh, you probably need a panel popper tool or maybe a flathead screwdriver to get up there and pop that loose. So now we're going to disconnect the exhaust fluid feed line to the metering valve. There is a thermal blanket that is over the top of the line that just has a button that you disconnect. You probably need a screwdriver to get in there and loosen it up. Once you get that disconnected, you can go ahead and get it out of your way. And there are two locking tabs, one on each side of the metering line. You compress those locking tabs and wiggle the line loose. Just like that. Now we're on the outside of the passenger side frame rail where we disconnected that one electrical connector earlier. We're gonna want to loosen this actual module from the side of the frame rail. And you do that by either using a screwdriver or pry bar. And you just pop it off of these tabs like that. Sometimes they get stuck. Maybe, there we go. And we're gonna feed it back over the top of the frame rail like this. Okay, so now only four electrical connectors remain. You have this one here. You have one up here on the cross member, right there. And then you have one here on the side of the frame rail. And then you have another one to a module like we had on the other side of the uh, frame rail. So you'll have to disconnect it from here and then pop it off of these white studs. Okay, so now we have to remove the three 15 millimeter nuts at the back end of the particulate filter. Okay, now that we have the exhaust completely unbolted, there are two rubber hangers just after the transfer case, one on each side of the DPF that have to be removed. And you can use a pry bar to pry those off.
These are the last four bolts holding the particulate filter in the truck. Once you remove these, you'll be ready to drop it out. Okay, so now we're ready to lower the DPF out of the truck. You wanna have a jack or a jack stand or something underneath it supporting it, especially if you're by yourself because it is very heavy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pry the flange off of these studs here and that, that'll allow us to lower it out of the vehicle. Did forget one bolt. Here we go. So now we're ready. So now we're free and clear of the studs here. We can go ahead and lower it down a little bit, start to slide it back. So I'm going to go ahead and just set it off the jack and onto the floor. Slide the jack out, put it right down on the floor. Now we're ready to go up front and just remove that last section over the cross member. Okay, so here I have the DPF removed from the truck and I have the new delete pipe that's going to be getting installed just to show you the size difference and uh, what's, what's being taken out and what's getting put back in.
Okay, so here's the delete pipe installed in the truck. 